my finest work. Ah! So oh, they're going to try and find a kill here. Yoku, oh, he's going to run away. He's spinning around. He doesn't expect the gank. And uh, he does have high movement speed, but I don't think he's getting out of this one. So a very quick kill here from Mr. Loda. Well, uh, Alliance are going to try to go in for this Luna early and often. And uh, it seems like oh, always want to fly. He's in a terrible spot right oh, now. Oh, no. What are you doing? Round there, two. Okay, he got the he got the ward. <laughs> That's hundred bucks. He's about to lose. And uh, yeah, this lane already not starting right. And uh, Loda, getting two quick kills here. I want to say it's impossible for Afterlife to miss this Chrono, but that, that may just end up making him miss. EGM might break the chrono. smoke. There, uh, there you go. They're gonna go Chrono win, but I don't know about this one. They're gonna stun. They're gonna hit him. One more hit. We'll do the job. Does he get it? Yes, they do. They take him out. The Keeper does do the damage. Afterlife taking a huge chunk of damage. They're silence as well. They take him out, but Hanskin out of mana and time dilated at this point. But um, here comes a big gank here from Alliance. The Hanskin EGM Limp Squad coming in. Uh, looking to lynch a target, and I think it's looking to be void. He does have that chronosphere, and the X mark will come. There's your chronosphere. He is looking for it. There it is. The ultimate's all thrown onto him as well. Just three ulties for one void. So the team fight ultimate is down. He does have a buyback though. That is the catch there. And if they dive, they could be oh. heavily punished Yoku's for this one. Yoku can get recalled there by his caudal, and no fear will be left to the wolves. And um, by wolves, I mean the captain Hanskin. Gonna throw out the torrent. It's gonna be missing completely. Nofia runs through the jungle. He might get out of this. Is he gonna get out there? It's gonna be a stomp. No, he gets a spirit on going. One more right click. Yep, the hunger will get him. So it is still quite a big deal for him. Are they gonna try and sneak a Roshan? That is so greedy. I don't know. Well, not greedy, but risky rather. Will they get away with it is the, the real issue here. And Undershot does have a double damage rune in his pocket, so they could be looking for an advantage that they never thought they had as Alliance still in the dark about this one. Alliance going to be giving away this Roshan, and that's the dire side advantage for you. And the Luna adding that blessing with the Vladimir's offering is enough to out-tank this Roshan and get this Aegis for himself. So they're going to be caught in, catching Alliance up by surprise for sure. 13 to 3, they're friends. There's a recall, I forgot about that, I'm stupid. But uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, there's going to be a blinding light. It's going to catch up, but Jonas and Fan immediately finds the Cardo, but a Chronosphere on two. Loda right in the middle. Here comes the Eclipse. The Combo Wombo is ready, but there's the ship keeping things alive. Loda going in for the Yomi Slash. There's an Aegis, and it's going to alleviate a lot of that damage there. The ship saving lives there as we lose the Aegis and two other heroes. The Torrent is going to be following up. No, the x mark will keep her in place there. Yoku. Wasting his ultimate there, and a big ship there from Hanskin keeps the Alliance squad healthy. And, uh, well, Limp, ooh, taking an arrow to the face there, gets a double star storm and loses his life. Undershot getting some much needed revenge with a blind arrow. That was what you call dumb luck, I think. With uh, Ice 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 and Clockwork or something. Oh, the okay. arrow nearly hitting Jonas and Fan. The loose and Beam gonna stall him up, and now there's the mana leak that everyone hates so much. But Kunka getting caught out there, the pup finding the kill. Is he gonna find a kill though? The Chronosphere choke point there. Loda now getting caught. The crack comes in from the other side. It's gonna be so much damage. Loda falls. Jonas and Fat take a huge amount of damage as well. And this is why you don't fight in choke points. But it's still three heroes lost with the combo that came out from the Alliance squad as well. A lot of magic damage being thrown about. Limp trying to look for targets, but he will not be able to find them. No fear. Gets the spirits out. He will be trying for the stomp. He disables that spirit. He will get it. The arrow lands on Hanskin. Oh no. And another kill. As the arrow connects on the on the Kunker, the star storm connects on the puck, and we got a wipe going the way of friends. Look at that team fight. Okay, the recap was a little bit screwy, but still, Undershock, the only one to remain after being the focus of Alliance in the last fight. Surprising for him, I think. He's gonna be as surprised as everyone else. I'm the only one standing after that one. And uh, that's gonna be a lot of gold going his way. Just become a lot weaker of a team. Only Slash still works, everything else on the Alliance squad is uh, going to be kind of ineffectual. So they, they do uh -oh. have to keep the pressure. Oh, oh no, it's not oh, no. for the light again. Poor guy. Arrow though. Oh no, Loda! Walks into the arrow, the blinding light as well to keep him alive. Now the Chronosphere is going to land on EGM. The Star Storm, the double Star Storm actually will knock out the Witch Doctor. So that's an ultimate down under shock though. Getting caught out by that, by that Mar oh by that Oh, by that puck, he's still surviving. Loda unable to go in there. He will immediately deploy that Omni Slash and get that, uh, get that part him. But Loda, the double damage rune, not enough to inspire him to go after that Luna after all. But Afterlife getting destroyed there. So he gets caught by the X Mark and the ship. So it is a successful fight going the way of Alliance. Again, the Coddle starting with that fight. 
three heroes lost there for friends, and this could be a Roshan in return for Alliance which, without the Witch Doctor. Okay, but uh, night time coming soon though. Feels bad. Get Ags immediate night time. They're going to use these observers up on the cliff to think that they're safe, but uh, Jonas Fan was right outside oh, the range the, the entire call time. Once again, EGM melts, but Jonas and Fan this time might not be able to get out of there under under shock. He does get stunned though, he's getting coil range and then yep, he gets stunned there and now no fear, gonna try and run away, the Eel Scepter is gonna set up a perfect Omni Slash, the Stomp will come out, anticipating it, but no, the Chrono comes in, now the Glaives are gonna be bouncing through, but there is the boat, keeping them alive for a little bit, Loader dropping very low, the Glaives still find him and Jonas and Fan still get hit by Lucent Beams, will beam him a third time, thanks to the wards there, and now Hanskin is like, my ship wasn't good enough, and he's gonna run away, out of the fight there. Wasn't in time to get in those big cleaves and uh, wards. Oh no, Omni Slash goes out. There is Yoku getting hit there by the Eclipse. Turns it around. He's very tanky with the butterfly. And now Loda getting slowed down by the Scotty. There's no running away from him. So much damage. Oh my lord. Yo, Loda goes down. EGM gets Chrono along with his buddy Jonathan Fan. And after life just plinking away, but not enough damage. But EGM will fall. The Doctor is out. He's jumping forward there as the X looking for a kill there. They have killed three up in the high ground. And Hanskin as well as Puck looking for another kill here on Undershock. It's not going to be there. As uh, Undershot is able to leap away, the Eel Scepter will be available. Nope, the Moonlight Shadow will keep things alive, but there is still a gem. So Undershot is still not out of the woods just yet. He's gonna juke. Oh, what? Why is there an instant pause? What's happening? Him? Eh. TS died. What's TS? Yeah, Limp, Limp sees him. Uh, Jonathan Fan has a blink, but he's out of range for a blink call. He could blink Battle Hunger. Mm -hmm. I think the play is blink battle hunger to pop the Lincolns, Yules him up, and then let the axe get in position for a call. Oh, or blinks away. Never mind. Do any of that, and then it doesn't matter. That's good too. Stupid arrow to the back of one of the heroes on the lines. Maybe start the fight from there. The X mark though, gonna catch the Elder Titan, but a Chrono once again starting out perfect. Loader takes a five second arrow, and here comes the crack. They might just kill him off there right away. There's the Aegis down though. The Chrono has been deployed for ages. EGM getting stunned up. He's running away. He's trying to run though. The Stomp comes in. Hanskin tried to go for some big plays there. Gets caught out now. Yoku gets caught by the X in return. Now he's dropping very low. Does he have enough damage? He pops the Eclipse. He gets dunked a little bit too late on the eclipse there where is EGM running away with that glimmer cave under shock looking for him is he gonna find him though is the question and alliance they lose no one but they are all really really low and uh Demrana <laughs> gonna get caught out there by oh, under oh limp gonna get caught out there by the puck there under shock gonna try and run away from this e blades himself um yeah he should be able to get out of there in time as limp is unable to land right click on him throws on an arrow scouts forward doesn't want to tp just yet Wants to make more space, kill off the creep wave behind the tower, and prevent the alliance from pushing up the high ground. Because the only way to kill, to push up the high ground is that. And now, without creeps, it's gonna be backdoor regeneration. They all tried to teleport back to deal with the Marana and just killed the creep wave. And then they all cancelled their TP at the same time. Which doctor's going in? Spotted though. Oh, this is not good EGM. for the alliance. EGM, please. EGM, no. Oh, it could be a big Chrono option. Oh, okay, always want to fly. Getting hit that EGM takes an arrow. Oh, this is a big chance for a Chrono. Afterlife, though, gets insta-hex. He's the one that was caught. I was waiting for that Chrono Sphere, but he's the one actually hexed up. EGM once again surviving on a drop of life. Yoku just standing and delivering. The Eclipse has been used there. He is actually disabling the Cardo's power during the duration, actually. I just realized. The Axe comes in, calls out. Always want to fly in the middle of a big creep wave, but Jonathan Fan takes an arrow to the face. He might go down. EGM dropping low there. The Agon Scepter, how are they all surviving on one drop of HP? Now they're running away, Jonas and Fan is going to be the sacrificial lamb. And uh, Yoku staying alive, the Satanic keeping him alive as we expected. And now Alliance are starting to lose grip as they do lose more gold. Uh, giving up the act compared to the Kotal and Void dying, so... The gold graph is still in their favor, but at this point, is it that big a deal to have a little bit more gold huh? than enemy when they have way better... Wow, Kunkka. Yeah. yeah, that's a lot of bursts that's with the Ethereal e Blade, blade and Dag and Marana. Yeah. It's, that, it's that kind of Marana. Shotgun. Mm -hmm. Tower is going to drop pretty rapidly. Once that happens, Mant style glaives onto oh, the wow. Rax. <laughs> <laughs> Marana okay, just Mar got a huge oh, yeah. shipment of weapons. Uh, and yeah, the shopkeeper got a large 
much older of Dagon's. But yeah, look at that real estate just chip away. Look at the damage there. The X mark is gonna clear up the wave. They have a Kunker though, so even if they do get Mega, there's that option of a late game rapier play. Right? Well, friends are looking for a kill right now. Arrow! EGM, come on, EGM! <laughs> That's not the first arrow he caught, man. He has no buyback. Yeah, someone's this gonna could have be a with Rax him. play for friends. Maybe several Raxes if they actually get a good angle here with the faceless. Yeah. How did this happen, man? Like, I, I don't know. It was Alliance's game, and then suddenly, this could be a Chrono on Loda. Loda has to be very careful. Gets stunned by the Lucent Beep. It's dropping very low. It has the Chrono. What is Loda doing? There are no one. There's no one to save him. That's the thing. He shouldn't be pushing too far out. Has to respect the Chronosphere. He is worth the solo use. And now Lim out of mana from that mana leak. The arrow's gonna land as well as the chain stun. The stun comes out with the Star Storm. And man, oh man, Undershock is coming back with revenge in style. Jonathan Fan comes in with the call, buyback from the puck. Loda going in, he's taking quite a fair chunk of damage. This is his buyback life. He's getting blinded. Yoku restoring all his life. So much damage to Glaives. Come back for back and forth. The Moon Wells takes him out, and Alliance suddenly lose their entire lineup. Jonathan Fan going down, blocked by the Lincoln Sphere. No kill on the Marana. All right, now he kills him, but the Eclipse is coming down. Jonathan Fan stunned up. Mana leaked away. There is no running as he bleeds out the mana. The blue stuff goes out. He dies again. No buyback. And I'm afraid Alliance might have just lost the game there. And then even the puck dying in the well in the fountain there the the Marana getting revenge there in style for that laning phase going in there blasting him up with that E Blade Dagon combo and Alliance in their debut game in the Dota 2 Champions League get knocked out in the BO1 round robins and uh, well that will do